Donald Nelson of Shrewsbury learned his car was easy to steal the hard way. Whenever I walked out this morning around 5 a.m., it was gone. So you can see my car taken off. What were your thoughts? Uh, immediately, like, you know, what am I going to do? How am I going to get to work? Uh, where do I go next? He called police and checked a Facebook page where people post pictures of lost and found cars. And if you just keep going, it's Hyundai Elantra after Hyundai Elantra. The I-team found that Nelson's car is just one of thousands of Hyundais and Kias that have been stolen nationwide in recent months. Police say the problem is in the ignition. Thieves can start certain types of these cars using USB cords, and it's happening all over the country. Police in Milwaukee, Grand Rapids, Columbus, Cincinnati, and dozens of other cities are reporting huge spikes in thefts and say that thieves have even Grand named a gang after their favorite brand. That theft is connected to the rash of Kia and Hyundai thefts by a group called the Kia Boys. In the city of St. Louis, we see that Honda and Kias are just being used to joyride or being used for other crimes, to commit other crimes. St. Louis Police Captain Janice Boxtruck says the younger the thieves, the worse it is. They have less experience in driving a vehicle and um, possibly more courage. So far this year, 669 Kias and Hyundais have been reported stolen through the end of June compared to 137 last year. That's a 388% increase. Take Hyundais and Kias out of the equation, and Boxtruck says car thefts in the city would be dramatically down in St. Louis instead of up in St. Louis. That in itself speaks volumes. Boxtruck says the cars weren't made with immobilizing technology, so the USB cord can start the cars. Some Kias newer than 2011 and Hyundais newer than 2015 fall into that category. But if it doesn't have that technology, that immobilizing technology where the engine actually has to read the key chip, the car steering column can't be broken, the car can't be stolen. Hyundai and Kia have known about the growing problem since at least last year. The I-team found a federal class action lawsuit filed against the automakers in June of 2021. Did you at any point hear anything from Hyundai about this defect? Not that I'm aware of. Kia and Hyundai sent us statements saying their motor vehicles meet or exceed federal motor vehicle safety standards, but they didn't answer our questions. Kia wrote, Kia America is aware of the rise in vehicle thefts of certain trim level vehicles in the St. Louis area. Hyundai wrote, Hyundai Motor America is concerned with the rise in local auto thefts. Both companies added that safety is a priority and vow to install new technology to stop theft. Police found Nelson's car one month after it got stolen. It ended up here at Terry's Tow Lot in Maplewood, where even the owner's daughter is a victim. I drove a 2015 Kia Optima. It was destroyed, to say the least, and the whole ignition was busted. Romine said Nelson's car was one of about 20 stolen Hyundais and Kias on her dad's lot that day. One of them, stolen out of University City, still had a USB cord hanging from the ignition. I was definitely sad when I first walked up on it. Nelson's insurance company totaled his car. Now he's looking for a new one. It will not be a Hyundai or a Kia. Police recommend a club which can lock your steering wheel. We've listed where you can find them along with how you can contact your automaker at KSDK.com. For the I-Team, Christine Byers, five on your side.